All right, I'm going to show you how to make gameplay movies for Hyperspin in Sony Vegas Pro 10. This also is the same for 9. Uh, previous versions I never used, so I don't know about older ones. All right, first thing we want to set is your project properties. So it's this little button here. All right, we're going to set up a Hyperspin video profile or template. So make sure you set your width and height, 640 by 480. And very important, your field order is progressive scan. Pixel aspect 1.0, no rotation, we're not doing 3D. Um, frame rate 29.9 is the same as 30. Uh, pixel format 8 bit, full resolution rendering quality is preview. That's also very important for game movies. Uh, motion blur type Gaussian, that's default, de interlace method is none also very important uh, I'm gonna go to audio stereo you're gonna have 48 44 is also fine bit that 16 V sample is preview also important alright next you want to also start all new projects with these settings because if you're making a lot of movies you want to make sure that these are the settings every time you start a new one that automatically loads so you can name this uh, this template Hyperspin Videos or whatever you like it. I have mine down there. All right. After that's done, you click Save. It'll save that template. And and then because you have this clicked, it'll always start every time you make a new project. Okay. From this window, I made a couple of sample um, gameplay movies that we'll use in this tutorial. So I use Cosmic Smash and Naomi. So first thing we're going to want to do is click and drag this onto your project down here. All right. So this is about oh about a minute and 15 seconds. So we're going to cut that down to about 30 because that's typically what you want to do in a, in a normal game. All right. So first, let's find a good spot that we want to start from. Probably right around where we started. Let's say that looks good. All right, so we're going to hit S. S will split this video track into two, wherever this marker is. Now, this we want to delete, so click, and then you hit your delete key. Now we slide this back over to the beginning. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in with the mouse wheel, or you can use the up and down arrow keys to zoom in. All right, first we want to fade in this audio a little bit. I just like to do this. It's I usually usually do 15 or so. Video we don't want to want to touch on the fade in. Okay, so now let's get about. If you hold your shift, you can keep clicking until you find about 30 seconds. There we go, 30. You can look down here. It'll it'll show you exactly how long your highlighted video is. Alright, so now you want to hit S again to split the video. Now you have your 30 second part. The rest, again, we can just delete. So we have our 30 second gameplay video here. So you can hit space bar just to play it, to see if it looks good, if you're happy with it. Let's add our title. Again, we're going to click and drag. I like to drag it onto a new video and audio tracks. Alright, nice thing about Vegas is it automatically clicks to line up. So there's absolutely no frames in between. Alright, I'm going to want to click there. So now we're going to zoom in. And we want to do a fade out of the first clip and then a fade in onto the second clip. So we want to do that for both audio and video. So when you see this, this little icon, now you click and drag that. I usually do about, like I said, about 0.15. For this part, we want to also do video. Same thing for here. Although, wait, I did forget to cut this out. All right, first, let's find where we want this title to start. Right about there should be good. 
Split. Delete. Move this in. Okay. Let's put this about 15. 15, 20, whatever works for you. Video also. Alright, we want this to be about five seconds, however long it needs. Just to show you the title. That should be about good. Let's test this spacebar. That looks good. Alright. And we want to fade out. Sometimes there's music playing, so we want, we want to fade that. I didn't even know there's none for this clip. Then you want to also fade out your video. So by point 15, 16, whatever you like. Put it on what time. That looks good. Alright, so here, you pretty much have a completed clip now. Alright, so you can save this if you want to save it. If you want to back it up, I don't really back up these at all because once I render it, I don't ever need to go back and, and do anything. It's done. So this is your render as button. Right. This is what you're going to do to output your video. Now, I use uncompressed video when I record uh, using Camtasia. If I try and use the TechSmith um, codec and it gives me choppy video no matter how I set its settings at. So I, I use uncompressed. So now we're going to convert it to a lossless codec, which is the TechSmith one, TSCC. So you're going to want to select your video for Windows, AVI. I already made this profile, but I'll go into it. All right. So, custom. Include video. Use project settings, so you don't have to set these. Frame rate is the same as before. Field order, again, progressive, very important. Pixel aspect 1.0. Video format. This, you want it to be the TechSmith screen capture codec. This will drastically reduce the file size of your of your rendered videos. Um, I don't think we need to do that. No, I have a better compression. I don't think it matters. Everything else we don't want create an open DMI we do want I don't really know what that's for it doesn't matter include audio I like to output PCM uncompressed I don't want to re-encode audio too many times so we're going to output that PCM uncompressed again this matches my input audio and video settings too so 48 16 stereo uh, nothing that we need also rename this save it that way you, you always have it there for you let's name our video whatever our game is cosmic smash and we click save now this might take a minute or two all right now we have our completed video so we can watch a preview of it if you want. Now this is at 30 frames per second. Uh, it's good enough. If you want to put it up to 60, it will double your final, uh, your file size. All right, just as a as a, an example, that works. I, I would do some further tweaking to so it doesn't end in a little uh, switch switch arounds, but that looks good. All right, 